Hey Geeks, Tim Tibbets here with MajorGeeks.com. Today we're going to take a look at disabling Windows Defender on Windows 10 or w Windows 8, as you probably know because you're here. It's not so easy to do inside of Windows, and to do it you have to get deep into Windows. So let's start with the two ways of doing it, Group Policy Editor and the Windows Registry Editor. We'll do this by getting to your Windows key plus S to get your search, and then simply type in GP edit dot MSC and hit enter and you'll get your group policy editor now what you want to do from here is you want to be in this section here come down to and expand administrative templates I'll move this over a little bit so you can see now that's expanded you want to come on down to Windows components and Windows Defender will be a folder under here where is she there it is so now that you have that let's move over here and you have turn off windows defender which is this is kind of a start shut down thing from windows so in other words enabled is disabled disabled is enabled if that makes sense or doesn't that's because the policy is called turn off windows defender so if that's enabled then it turns off Windows Defender. If it's disabled, which is probably where you are by default, that means Windows Defender is on. So if you want to disable it, simply click Enable, hit Apply, hit OK, close this out, start, shut down, and you're out of here. Now that's the easier way to do it. Registry Editor is a little more buried, and it also sometimes the key you need for the registry isn't there. So if that worked for you, you're out of here. You're free to go, dismissed. If not, all right, let's hit the Windows key and search again, and let's go to RegEdit. And here we are. So now in RegEdit, Reg you're going to be at the H key local machine. You're going to want to go from there and expand it to software. Once you get past software, we have to get down to policies. We want to expand policies to Microsoft and expand Microsoft. And now we are where we want to be, Windows Defender. Now, if you have disabled anti-spyware as a key and you might not double click it make sure the value is one if it is or if it's zero change it to one hit OK close it reboot now if you don't have that key you're gonna need to create it in order for it to work so to do that make sure you're still with this folder right here you want to right click here hit new 32-bit value D word click on that now just name that disable anti spyware once that's finished we'll double click it and as you can see the value by default is zero so we're going to click one which means disable it we click OK close it reboot that's the end of Defender don't forget to reboot so that's it it's uh, a little fast considering if you're playing around with the uh, reg editor, you might have to come backwards just a little bit um, to go through all that, make sure you got it right. But group policy should work for everybody. And that's about it. Click on the subscribe button because that would be awesome. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.